Hi, this is Dr. Derek Ong, and I'm about to give you a brief note on how to do research in statistics uh, using SPSS. This is going to be the first of a series of videos that I'll be producing. So um, before we get into it, I would like to say that uh, this series of videos uh, is meant to help students, uh, research students mostly, uh, if you're doing quantitative analysis. Um, and of course, there are a few things that uh, you need to understand before you could um, do any sort of statistical analysis, right? Now, first, before we begin, we need to first understand about the research process. Now, the research process starts by us having a research background. Right. This could be a question, a problem statement, uh, helping us to find what is the scope and, of course, the questions and the objectives that we want to achieve. Now, once we've done that, we need to then, of course, uh, look into literature and how uh, theories and uh, past research and even the gaps that we want to find to help us to formulate the framework. Uh, from this framework, it's important for us then to postulate the hypothesis. Now, I want to take some time here to say that uh, this entire research process, that uh, approach that I'm looking into, is actually a quantitative uh, paradigm or a positivist paradigm, a quantitative approach. So we'll be using a lot of measurements uh, to check for its reliability and validity and how we do sampling and also data collection. Okay, so the bulk of this series of these videos uh, is actually in the stage four, where after we have decided that uh, this is the framework and this is the measurement that we want to use, we would then have to then collect our data and analyze the results uh, using descriptives, uh, differences, inferential relationships, and probably even predictive modeling, but I, we will go into that later. All right. So once the research results are tabulated, then we can use those results and form our conclusions, discussions, and implications. Uh, and of course, to decide what our limitations are and of course, what the future research is. So this future research is what's going to then prompt uh, future researchers to look into our research and decide whether or not there is some gaps that we can contribute back to knowledge. So this is the whole uh, research process that I'm talking about. Okay, so for the next series of videos, I'm going to talk to you about uh, uh, quantitative research, uh, what is sample and population, and how do we derive hypotheses. Thank you for watching.